May the strength of Christ the Savior protect you. As a sign of this, we anoint you with the oil of salvation and the same Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> I'm going to bless the water that uh, Josie will be baptized with. And I think many of you probably know what makes water holy in our tradition. We talk about people blessing themselves with holy water. People are baptized in it. So this is ready to become holy water because of Josie's baptism. And we've got a container that you'll be able to take some holy water home with you. And uh, a real cause for celebration. Oh God, who by invisible power accomplish a wondrous effect through sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water, your creation, to show forth the grace of baptism. O God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters, so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration, so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water, would come an end to vice and a beginning of virtue. O God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shod through the Red Sea, so that the chosen people set free from slavery to Pharaoh would prefigure the people of the baptized. O God, whose son, baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan, was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side along with blood and after his resurrection commanded his disciples, go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of old, may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this font, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And before we actually pour the... Uh, Water on Josie's head. I'm going to ask parents and godparents, but also invite any who are aware to answer, hopefully with sincerity, I do to these questions I'm soon to pose. Dear parents and godparents, through the sacrament of baptism, the child you have presented is about to receive from the love of God new life by water and the Holy Spirit. For your part, you must strive to bring her up in the faith so that this divine life may be preserved from the contagion of sin and may grow in her day by day. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, then mindful of your own baptism, renounce sin and profess faith in Christ Jesus, the faith of the church in which this child is going to be baptized. And so I ask the parents and the godparents, but I invite the response from all gathered here, do you renounce Satan in all his works, in all his empty show? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? And so do I. For this is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Now, I'm going to invite parents and godparents to come up, but everybody is welcome to, to get closer to the font if they want. You're not pinned uh, to the pew you're in, but for right now, let's get uh, Josie with parents and godparents up right on this side of the baptismal font. Now, I didn't mention at the beginning, 
Uh, this is a Kodak moment, though. So, uh, and you're probably best right over here for a picture here. Because I'm going to bring parents and godparents along with the child right around here. I don't know about this. Do I want to do All right. First, I would ask a mom and dad, is it your wish that Josie Lee be baptized in this faith we've just professed? Yes. All right. Actually, I'll let you continue to hold on to that. I'm going to invite you to put, place it so that uh, Josie's head is face up and over the font. And I'll do this three times quickly for anyone taking pictures. Josie Lee, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? Do I even have a towel? Oh, thank you. Would you reach for the towel back over there? Oh. Oh, there we are. Thank you. Yeah, I don't mind being dried off, though. There we are. Yes. Yeah, that's right. When's the rest of the bath come, eh? All right. Now I'm going to uh, anoint her uh, forehead with a sacred chrism. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and joined you to his people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation so that you may remain as a member of Christ, priest, prophet, and king into eternal life. have had the best disposition. Right. Okay, this. this goes to the godmother. And the candle. Oh, right there. Beautiful. This goes to the godfather. And he's not vertically challenged like I am, so I'm going to let him light off of that. And then pass that to the parent not holding the child once you light it. <laughs> I'll let you hold on to that because that'll go back in there. Excellent. Like good altar service. All right, let's see. And now I would ask the godmother who has the uh, little stole. It doesn't connect, so it's more for show than anything. But if you want to place it so that we can get a picture with it anyway sometime later. There we are. Yeah, very good. Josie, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. May this white garment be a sign of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to help you by word and example. Bring it unstained into eternal life. Amen. And now uh, you've already handed the candle. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly so that your child, enlightened by Christ, may walk always as a child of the light and preserving in the faith, persevering in the faith, may run to meet the Lord when he comes with all the saints in the heavenly court. And I'm going to, uh, while she's absorbed with that, I'm going to... Uh, make a quick blessing of her ears and mouth. Josie Lee, may the Lord Jesus, who made the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. <clears throat> Grant that you may receive his word with your ears and profess the faith with your lips to the glory and praise of God the Father. Amen. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, this child is reborn through baptism, is now called a child of God, for so indeed she is. Through confirmation, she will receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit, and approaching the altar of the Lord, will share in the table of his sacrifice, and will call upon God as Father in the name of the church. Now, now in her, in her name, and in the spirit of adoption as sons and daughters, which we have all received, let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. I'm going to conclude our service here with three blessings, one for Mama, one for Papa, and one for all gathered here. The Lord God Almighty, through his Son, born of the Virgin Mary, brings joy to Christian mothers as the hope of eternal life shines forth upon their children. May he graciously bless the mother of this child, so that as she now gives thanks for the gift of her child, she may always remain united with her in thanksgiving. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord God Almighty, the giver of light both in heaven and on earth, bless the father of this child, so that together with his wife, they may, by word and example, prove to be the first witnesses of the faith for their child. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. And may God, Lord God Almighty, who by water and the Holy Spirit has given us new birth into eternal life, abundantly bless the faithful here present, that always and everywhere they may be active members of his people and may bestow his peace on all who are here. In Christ Jesus our Lord, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, she looks holier to me. What do you think? Yeah. She does. What bright eyes. My gosh, she's going to have a whole lot to say once she starts talking. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Have a great week.